Yeah, let's go! I'm not even a Leafs fan, dude. I'm not. I'm just pissed off that Tampa Bay always makes it to the finals, and I'm kind of sick of seeing American teams win it all. The Toronto Maple Leafs, for the first time in almost two decades, have advanced to the second round of the Stanley Cup playoffs. And who else but the captain is the one who gets it done? The boyhood dream has come true for John Tavares. Coming in here, scoring the overtime goal, game six. 2-1 to one is the score of the game, 4-2 to two is the score of the series. I said this the entire time from last year's series, man. Toronto was honestly good. Like, sure, the Maple Leafs choked it against Boston, that's the classic one, everybody talks about that. The Maple Leafs choked it against Columbus, that was not even the first round technically, that was the play-in series. They choked it big time against the Montreal Canadiens, but I said last year, after covering all the games, after watching it all and just talking about it here on the channel, Toronto didn't choke against Tampa last year. They were competitive, they were in it, and they just lost. That's it. Like, they could have won last year's series. Against Montreal, you could have said, nah, they were destined to lose, they choked that one, and you could tell the moment the puck dropped in Game 7 that Toronto was going to lose. You just knew it was going to happen, same thing with Columbus. Against Tampa Bay last year... It wasn't like that. They just lost regularly. They didn't lose in the traditional Leafs choking fashion that we've been accustomed to seeing them lose in. And this time around, I said it, man. I said, Toronto, they've got what it takes. This year, the Toronto Maple Leafs are going to get past their first round demons and they're going to get things done. And as we had said, John Tavares is the one that gets it. Now, we could break down this game, we could break down everything, but like, I'm not smart enough to do that. We had three goals in this game. Let's talk about each of them. Austin Matthews ends up getting on the board 1-0 for Toronto in the second period after a beautiful shift by the Maple Leafs. All the control, the puck possession, the cycling, the keep at the line by Brody. Just a beautiful display of hockey being played by Toronto in this goal segment. And it's ultimately Brody who throws it over to Matthews. Austin spins around and fires it on goal. The one-timer goes right by Vasilevsky. 1-0 Toronto. And at the end of the second period, that was the score. Everybody was saying, okay, they have a chance. All they got to do is just not choke. And for the most part, the Leafs looked a lot better in this game than they had in the last one against Game 5. You could tell they are kind of controlling themselves, controlling their emotions, controlling the nerves a little bit better in this one. So, there was a chance. But ultimately, the game gets tied 1-1 when Eric Gustafson loses his man. He's completely lost out of nowhere. William Nylander goes off to the point, trying to cover the point man, which leaves Mark Giordano trying to block off two Tampa Bay Lightning forwards in front of Samsonov as the puck gets thrown on goal from the blue line. It's a big rebound chance. Stamkos is there all alone. He pots it in. It's 1-1, and then overtime comes out. And I think Steve Dangle said this two years ago when the Leafs played off against Montreal, but once the Leafs lost that game six and Kotkaniemi scored that overtime goal, you kind of knew that it was over. And this time around, I was kind of thinking the same thing. Okay, the Maple Leafs need to get it done here. They need to score. They need to win in game number six, because if that game seven starts out, who knows what's going to happen. But leave it to Captain Johnny T to get things done. It's Matthew Nyes down low, who is battling for the puck in the corner. Eventually, it finds John Tavares, who pops out on the side of the goal. He spins with a shot. It goes off of the skate of Radish and by Vasilevsky. 2-1 is the final score here as the Toronto Maple Leafs await the winner of Boston versus Florida. That series, by the way. Game 7. Like, what the hell? How in the world did the Florida Panthers go out there and pull this off? They're just so clutch. It's been kind of nuts seeing how that series has gone about, but Boston being the best regular season team the NHL has seen ever kind of speaks volumes to the magnitude of entertainment value that is there when you acknowledge that Florida has actually tied them. But the winner will play Toronto in round number 2. The Maple Leafs have gotten past the first round for the first time since 2004. And who knows if this is going to be the start of an ultimate run that we see 
Common eyes in a Lord Stanley victory in Canada once again. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below about the Maple Leafs beating Tampa Bay in Game 6. I said in my predictions that this was going to go to 7, but nah, it ends off in 6, so good for Johnny T to get things done the way that he did. The curse is finally over, Steve Dangle is going to be rejoicing, Toronto is going to be rejoicing, the entire province of Ontario is going to be rejoicing, and honestly, even though I'm not a Leafs fan... I can at least feel happy for all the folks that are, because y'all have waited way too long for this. 20 years? 19 years? Excuse me? Ay ay ay. ay. I'm barely 22 years old, and you're telling me that the last time the Maple Leafs made the second round I was in preschool? Bro. That's tough. But either way, thoughts in the comments about the Maple Leafs beating Tampa in Game 6. I hope you enjoyed this video. And... Bye.